Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Offshore wind farms are electricity generation facilities, which use wind turbines placed offshore in the open sea, usually located farther from populated areas. minimizing their visual impact on coastal landscapes. Offshore wind farms can accommodate larger wind turbines, which capture more wind energy and generate more electricity. These winds are stronger and steadier than onshore winds, leading to higher and more consistent electricity production. Such farms have the potential for large-scale deployment, contributing significantly to renewable energy goals. The journey of a wind turbine blade from the manufacturing facility to its final destination at a wind farm begins with route selection. Involving a thorough examination of the road infrastructure and identifying potential obstacles such as bridge clearances, overhead power lines, and sharp turns. The goal is to find a route that minimizes the need for road closures or lane restrictions. While ensuring that the blades can safely pass under all overhead obstacles. Heavy haul trailers with multiple axles form the backbone of the transportation system providing the necessary support for the blade's immense weight and length. These trailers are equipped with hydraulic blade lifters, which play a pivotal role in safely lifting the blades onto the trailers and securing them in place during transit. Throughout the transportation process, real-time GPS tracking systems are employed to monitor the location and progress of the blades. Transporting gigantic windmill towers by sea is a complex and challenging process that requires meticulous planning, specialized equipment, and skilled personnel. Specialized heavy lift vessels designed to handle oversized and heavy cargoes are the backbone of windmill tower transportation. Vessels like the Orion possess the necessary lifting capacity, stability, and deck space to accommodate and transport these massive structures safely. This kind of transport has been used in projects like the Arcadis Oswind, moving 28 XXL monopiles, one OSTP, one J2 cage, and 27 sets of secondary steel components. Similar projects include the High Wind Scotland Pilot Farm, which is the world's first commercial floating wind farm located 18 miles off the coast of Peterhead, Scotland, with a total capacity of 30 megawatts. Such a farm consists of five, six megawatt Siemens direct drive turbines on high wind floating monopiles. Well, this is a, a pilot park with five turbines. The next step is of course to, to go bigger and into new areas. And it is also well worth uh, pointing out that we have a technology qualification program, which is very important part of Highwind Scotland, uh, which will feed in research data into future projects. Service jackup vessels are specialized ships that are used to install and maintain offshore wind turbines. They are self-elevating vessels, meaning they can raise themselves above the waterline using their legs, allowing them to work in water depths of up to 490 feet. A state-of-the-art vessel like the Brave Turn has a heavy lift crane to lower and install the foundation structure 
This may involve drilling into the seabed or using gravity anchors. Lifting and securing the wind turbine tower onto the foundation using specialized bolting and welding techniques. Windmill maintenance using vessels is a crucial aspect of ensuring the efficient and safe operation of offshore wind farms. Specialized vessels such as service operations vessels play a vital role in carrying out maintenance tasks on offshore wind turbines. SOVs are designed to provide a comfortable and safe living environment for technicians and crew members while they are conducting maintenance activities at offshore wind farms. Such vessels carry a range of maintenance equipment and tools, including cranes, hydraulic pumps and diagnostic instruments to facilitate the repair and maintenance of wind turbines. We can then use the walk to work system, the gangway system, uh, to launch uh, our troubleshoot teams or our service teams across directly onto uh, the wind turbine. Helicopters provide several advantages for offshore windmill maintenance over traditional vessel-based maintenance methods, particularly in terms of accessibility, efficiency, flexibility, and eliminates the need for transfers and reduces the time required to access and maintain the turbines. Also, their maneuverability allows them to navigate between turbines efficiently, reducing the time spent traveling between maintenance tasks. More development has led to the creation of specialized aircraft like the Airbus H-135 and H-145. Equipped with advanced avionics and larger capacity, allowing to accommodate more technicians and equipment, making it suitable for more complex maintenance tasks. The size and weight of oil rigs vary depending on their type, purpose and location. However, they can be massive structures, with some of the largest reaching over 1,000 feet tall and weighing millions of tons. The tallest fixed platform is the Troll A platform in the North Sea, which is 1,073 feet tall, while the heaviest fixed platform is the Brent Bravo platform in the North Sea, which weighs 4.5 million tons. Moving an oil rig is a challenging operation that demands meticulous planning, specialized equipment, and a team of experienced professionals. Before the rig moves, a team of engineers and surveyors assess the new location and plan the move. Considering factors such as water depth, weather conditions, and the condition of the seabed. The rig's pipelines are carefully disconnected to prevent leaks or spills and ensure the integrity of the pipelines during the relocation process. Power cables are safely disconnected to prevent electrical hazards during towing operations. Then, the water levels are adjusted in the rig's ballast tanks to achieve optimal buoyancy, stability, and seaworthiness. Proper ballasting ensures that the rig floats evenly in the water maintains adequate clearance from the seabed and minimizes the risk of capsizing or healing during towage. A fleet of powerful tugboats is mobilized to provide the necessary towing force. Typically arranged in a coordinated configuration around the rig, ensuring controlled movement and preventing the rig from veering off course or becoming unstable during towing operations. After the rig is moved to the new location, the structure is secured with a mooring system. Extracting and moving old oil rigs requires meticulous planning, specialized equipment and skilled personnel as these massive structures, often weighing millions of tons and standing hundreds of feet tall, have reached the end of their productive lives. 
and must be safely dismantled, transported, and disposed of in an environmentally responsible manner. We lift the top sides and we transport them to shore, and there we dismantle, and then as much as possible we try and recycle. So in Delta, for instance, we're managing to recycle over 97%. The complexity of such labor was seen during the Shell Brent decommissioning project, which involved dismantling the Brent Bravo, Brent Charlie, Brent Delta, and Brent Alpha platforms. The first step towards decommissioning involves isolating the reservoir, which involves plugging and abandoning the wells, a delicate process that requires specialized expertise and equipment. By sealing the wells, Shell prevents any leakage of hydrocarbons into the marine environment, safeguarding the delicate ecosystem of the North Sea. Then, each platform is systematically deconstructed into manageable components, focusing on maximizing recycling and minimizing waste. This intricate process demands precision efficiency and a deep understanding of the platform's structural integrity to ensure the safety of workers and the integrity of the marine environment. Once dismantled, the components embark on a journey ashore to designated facilities for recycling or disposal. Transportation routes are meticulously planned to minimize disruption to maritime traffic and avoid sensitive environmental areas. Strict adherence to safety regulations and environmental protocols ensures the responsible handling and disposal of these materials. The Brent Field's been obviously part of oil and gas history for 40 years, and now it's amazing to see it both first of all come on shore, and then the way that it's been processed and essentially sent away again in smaller pieces to be recycled is already pretty impressive sort of recycling of history. The logistics of offshore installations are a critical aspect of the global energy sector. Demanding a combination of expertise, innovation and environmental stewardship to ensure the safe, efficient and sustainable development of offshore resources. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.